Good afternoon everybody, my name is Kimbra Ratliff and I'm a senior accounting major here at the University of Tennessee at Martin. I'm from Trenton, Tennessee and I graduated from Gibson County High School. I'm here with Garrett and he's a sophomore at UTM, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself. As Kimber said, my name is Garrett Cody and I am a sophomore here at the University of Tennessee at Martin. I am a double major in political science and English. I'm from Clarksville, Tennessee and I went to Northeast High School. And um, as a freshman, I struggled really bad with getting my classes in order and doing all this other stuff that it asks of you. So, Kimbra, what I want to know is what do the freshmen need to know before Friday? Okay, by 5 o'clock Friday, you, have, you need to make sure that you've met all of your deadlines. Make sure you've bought your parking sticker. Make sure you have everything squared away with the financial aid office. And make sure you have a set schedule. A set schedule is a balanced schedule. Make sure you have a balance between those courses with a difficult course load and the courses with a more um, an easier course load. Also, if you're a morning person, go for the 8 a.m. classes. If you're not a morning person, stay away from the 8 a.m. classes. Schedule for 10 or after. You want to also make sure your courses are major specific. You're taking courses that are going to help you earn the degree that you're here to achieve. Okay. Well, one of the main problems was I didn't know how to stay organized. Is there a way that you can tell me how to stay organized? Sure. Well, what I do to stay organized is um, I calendar my syllabi. Make sure you invest in a planner. Every time you get a syllabus for a class, once your schedule is set, you should write down all of your assignments and all of your tests. Any date that is in the, in the syllabus, they want you to remember. It's there for a reason. So all of my um, classes are in green in my assignments and my tests are in red. Okay. Well, what if I want to do another extracurricular activity, like a group, a fraternity? How do I manage that with schoolwork. Okay, well you also need to have a personal schedule for the week. You need to make sure that you um, pencil in or calendar in study times for your classes along with the different events that you want to do. So like blue is my sorority, orange is my work, and then pink is anything else. So as long as I have it written down, then I can make sure I stay on schedule. Well, Kimber, you have a 4.0, right? Mm -hmm. And you just recently were accepted into law school? That's right. Well then how did you maintain your schoolwork? Well, what I did is I made sure that I established goals on the front end. When I came in as a freshman, I knew that my number one goal was to have a 4.0 by graduation. I, I wanted to make all A's. And then that goal led to my next goal of being accepted to law school. So you want to make sure that you set your goals now versus later because it's going to be a lot easier to achieve those goals if you're working towards them all four years versus the last two years that you're here. Okay, and is there a way that I could remember this by? Like of course. I have a nice little acronym and that acronym is DRIVE. The D stands for deadlines that you should have met by Friday. The R is for record in your planner. The I is for invent your weekly schedule for your personal study time and your personal time. The V is value your time. Once you make the schedule, you want to make sure you stick to it and you value that schedule. And E is for establish your personal and academic goals for your college career. Well, thank you, Kimber, for having me today, and hopefully this will help all you freshmen out there, and it'll also help me with my junior and senior year. Well, good. I'm really, really glad that I got to share all the information with you guys. Oh my gosh, here's some pep leaders. Let's ask them. What can we help you guys with? Have you guys heard anything about the student organization fair? Yes, it's tomorrow night in the Elam Center, and it's a great way to get involved on campus. UT Martin has over 100 organizations. Almost all of them will be in attendance. As well as a lot of different companies from around Martin are going to give away a lot of free stuff. Free stuff? Cool. They're giving away stuff such as coupons, food, and t-shirts. Food and t-shirts? Oh, wow. The student organization fair is a great way to get involved on campus. Hope to see you guys there. Hey Skyhawks, Natalie here, reminding you that the Greek Informative will be tomorrow at 7.30 in the University Center. For those interested in fraternity, you will need to meet in room 230. For those interested in sorority, you will need to meet in Watkins. Here's what to expect. A representative from each Greek organization will talk about their own particular group. Also, the Greek magazine will be passed out and more information about recruitment will be provided. Also, door prizes will be handed out 
from an iPod to TV to even cash. Also, this is not a formal attire event, so just come as you are. Recruitment dates for girls is September 6th through the 10th, and recruitment dates for guys is September 11th through the 15th. So if you're interested, come by. Go Skyhawks! Classes are back in session, and I'm going to tell you the first thing you need to do outside of studying. The 19th Annual Soybean Festival comes to town on August 31st through September 9th. With it comes the Carson and Barnes Circus, and I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see an elephant do a handstand. If your obsession for toddlers and tiaras has spilled over into your real life, you won't want to miss the Little Miss Soybean pageant. Glitz and glam are all around. Come out for the cancer car bash. Five swings and a t-shirt, 10 bucks. All proceeds go to Relay for Life. There's live music throughout the week, and if that's not enough for you, come out for what most Americans call the biggest draw, the food. Caramel apples, funnel cakes, Chicago style hot dogs, and something I'm willing to try even if you're not, alligator on the stick. It all culminates into Sodexo Sunday Brunch. For more information, check out the website below, and I'll see you next time.